Hi, this is Charlie Page, owner of the directory of eZines, and here's a question I get asked all the time. How can I choose a great domain name? Now, a great domain name lasts a long time and it gains value over time, so it's important to get this right. Getting this wrong can really limit your success online. Getting it right can make all the difference. Now, embarrassingly, I own 441 domain names. I'm going to tell on myself because I love to buy domain names. For some reason, I just think up these names that work and I use them in different niches. So I've done a lot of domain name buying over the years. And as I said, my name's Charlie Page. I'm the owner of the directory of eZines and 15 other membership sites. And I've been working online for a long time. I like to share these little tips with you free because I hope that it helps you in your online career. So if you have a brand now, that is obviously the logical choice for your domain name. Product-centric domain names are a must for product owners. So if you own a product or a service and you're beginning to have a website, you definitely want to leverage the power of the branding you've done already with your product name or the name of your service. But most people don't have a brand or a product when they start online, so what do they do? Well, if you're just starting out or need to establish your home base, your platform, this is for you. Let's look at some good names gone bad before we get to how to choose a good name. Now, let me tell you something. I'm not picking on any of, these, any of these people, but I'll tell you this is what happens when you choose a name that you don't think about the ramifications. Here's one called Teachers Talking. Now, that's a perfectly fine name. It's a great thing for teachers to talk to each other, right? But how does that read to you? Does it read like teacherstalking.org? How about this one? Experts Exchange. It's a great idea. Experts Exchanging Ideas. But doesn't it read to you like, well, something else? How about this one? Choose Spain. Now, Spain's a great country. It's beautiful, and the people are warm and friendly, but this looks to me like Choose Pain. So these are names that maybe should have been rethought. Okay, you can make a domain name great. Here's something you need to know. If the domain name that you have your heart set on is not out there, it's already taken up, or some squatter is sitting on it wanting $25,000 for it, Ugh. You can make a domain name great if you want to. Here is an example in the makeup industry, Birchbox. I'm sure you've heard of Birchbox. I'm betting that some of the people listening to this or watching this have a Birchbox subscription. I certainly know that my daughters do, and they love it. But what does Birchbox mean? It means what the people at Birchbox make it mean. So see, that's what I mean is you can take any domain name and make it great. Birchbox really has no inherent meaning, but they've made it about beauty. Now, are they doing well? Well, they have over a million subscribers and 800 brand partners. And if you know Birchbox, it's a monthly subscription. So take X dollars per month times a million. You'll figure out how they're doing. How about traffic? How popular is Birchbox.com? Look at this. 5687 in the world. Not bad. Again, Birchbox doesn't mean anything out of the context that the company has given it in their marketing, in their content marketing, in their branding. How about in the pop culture and beauty business? Ever heard of Pop Sugar? If you're into pop culture, beauty, fashion, I guarantee you you've heard of Pop Sugar. Now, Pop Sugar's been around, look at the arrow, since 2006. And look at below the arrow, the founders, Lisa and Brian Sugar. So that's how they named their site. The term Pop Sugar has no meaning on its own. How are they doing? Well, they're 824th in the world. Not bad. How about in humor and pets? Now, this is the most extreme example I've ever seen of a domain name that has no meaning on its own being branded into a huge business. This is I Can Has Cheeseburger. That's right. If you haven't heard of it before, it's called I Can Has Cheeseburger. Now, I want you to notice two things. Number one, the video, because that's what they do. They do videos, and I'm going to show you the punchline of this video in just a second. But look above the video. That's Ryan Dice advertising on I Can Has Cheeseburger, because he's a smart man. I'll tell you why in a minute. Look at their traffic stats. Now, here's the punchline, and this is why these, pop these videos are so popular. This woman's loving husband 
hid a parrot in the drawer and then asked her to get something out of the drawer and the video is just hilarious. It's not a great practical joke if she's got a bad heart but it makes for a funny video and that's what I can has cheeseburger does. They show all these kind of videos all over their site. How are they doing? 1754th in the world. That is huge. Now there is also a value in branding your name. I mentioned Ryan Dice's name a minute ago and you know his company as Digital Marketer. I've used my name, Charlie Page, as my brand. So I use charliepage.com, as does Neil Patel, as does Michael Hyatt, as does John Maxwell and many other people. So if you're going to be providing content to people and you want them to associate that content with your name and not a company, there is a value in branding your own name. Here's an example from the world of politics. Matt Drudge decided to call his site The Drudge Report. On the other side of the aisle, you've got Arianna Huffington, who created The Huffington Post and sold it to AOL for, like, more money than can be counted. It's just ridiculous. How about this? John Maxwell, the number one leadership expert in the world, best-selling New York Times author, great, great person. He's branded himself by writing his books and by his speaking, and so he has johnmaxwell.com. Now let me share with you a few key principles before we go and how to choose a great domain name for yourself, especially if you're just starting out. Number one, you want something easy to remember. Here's why. You're going to say this domain name to people. You're going to write about this domain name. They're not always going to be clicking a link to go to your site. So if you're in a situation where let's say you're being interviewed or you're part of a webinar or you're talking to a friend, you definitely want something easy for them to remember. So try to make it easy to remember. Number two, make sure it's easy to spell. And if it's not easy to spell, consider buying variations and pointing them to your main site. Next, it builds your brand. It needs to be consistent with what you do. There's no point in tricking people, so you just want a very straightforward sounding domain name and one that makes a promise if you're using a branding type of approach. Now, with my particular name or John Maxwell or somebody like that, that is not necessary because those names carry no inherent promise in them. With Digital Marketer, for example, it really does because it's about what? marketing online. Okay, one that's descriptive is very, very helpful too. We have to forget for a minute the I can has cheeseburger because it has nothing to do with cheeseburgers, but domain names that are very descriptive really can be very, very effective. And keywords don't matter most. Do they matter at all? Well, you know, the jury's out on that. In my opinion, they don't really matter that much. Studies have been done over and over and over again that these keyword stuffed domain names, where you have three keywords strung together and the domain name makes no sense at all, really don't work out so well. So I would disregard keywords when you're buying your domain name unless the keyword happens to fit naturally. I wouldn't try to put a square peg in a round hole just to stuff a keyword in there. Get a .com domain name if you can because we live in a .com world. That's just the reality of it. Now, I know there are many companies, including the wonderful leadpages.net, that operate very successfully with a .net domain name. You know, if somebody's grabbed up your .com domain name and they're squatting on it and they're going to try to hold you hostage for big money just because they've got a name they're not using and you want it, then don't play that game just by the .net or whatever. But if you can get a .com, go ahead and do that. Now, if you need help with this, I would be happy to help you. I believe that everything is possible. I truly, truly do. And I'll tell you, if I can has cheeseburger can be 1,754th in the world, then man, everything is possible. I want to help you with it. If I can, I believe in win-win relationships with my clients. And everything I do is at Charlie page.com. So go there, get on my list. I've got a traffic and conversion course that's really good. People love it. And uh, it's free, completely free, pitch free content and lots of articles you can read and other things like that. And all the products I do sell are also there. So if you're watching this on Facebook, give me a like or a thumbs up or share it or whatever. If you're watching this on my blog, please leave a comment. And whatever you do, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks. See you soon.